Welcome to Nidin Saran Training. Today we will be discussing about gout. You know, gout is an inflammatory arthritis caused by uric acid accumulation in our joints. So, what is gout? It is an inflammatory arthritis caused by deposition of uric acid in our joints. If uric acid is accumulated in our joint, if, we, if it is a cool climate, that uric acid will be crystallized and that joint will be swelling. So what are the classical features you can observe in gout? We can see joint pain, joint swelling, pruritus with joint uric acid is accumulated. Surrounding to that joint there will be itching that is pruritus and slight elevation of the temperature because of inflammatory arthritis. And we can also see the most classical feature that is toffee, T-O-P-H-A. Toffee means choky white deposit under the skin due to increased sodium urate or uric acid deposit. If uric acid is high, that can lead to choky white deposit under the skin. That choky white deposit under the skin is called toffee. Another classical feature of gout is there is a chance for renal calculi because of increased uric acid. If any chemical increases in our body, there is a chance for renal calculi. Here uric acid will be increased and it will be crystallized which leads to uric acid stones in our body. So there is a chance for renal calculi in our body. So these are the classical features of gout. Let me discuss about the management for gout. First of all, you want to advise the patient to avoid organ meat, old cheese and alcohol. What do you mean by organ meat? Chicken, beef, pork these all items should be avoided these all will increase uric acid then avoid alcohol old cheese these all will increase uric acid and secondly avoid high protein diet you know if you are taking high protein diet there is a chemical compound which is called purine purine will be increased in our body which will gradually elevate the uric acid level so avoid high protein diet is very very important thirdly Advise the patient to take adequate amount of fluids at least 2 liters per day to prevent renal calculi. At least you want, you want to advise the patient to take 2 liters of fluid to prevent renal calculi. Actually, every human should take 3 liters of fluid per day. But to prevent renal calculi, minimum how many liters of fluid you want to consume? That is 2 liters per day. And thirdly, when it comes to the medications, what all medications you can give? Antipyretics to reduce the temperature, analgesics to reduce the pain, and thirdly, anti gout drugs. What are the anti gout drugs? Examples allopurinol, it's a famous drug, allopurinol, colchin, C O L C H I N E, colchin, and thirdly, ubetsa or febizostat. These are the medications which will help to excrete the uric acid from the body. So these are the points you want to remember in gout. That's all about gout. See you all with another video. Thank you.